Okay, so we've got Google Earth open here. We're just going to go up to the title bar or the uh, search bar and type in the address of the property that we're going to be searching. And then we go over to the search icon, click on that and Google will take us through to the property. Okay, so this is the property I'm going to be working on for this example. It's bounded on two sides by a river and I'm just going to move it around a little bit to make sure that I get all the boundaries in. So looking at this plan, I know, for instance, at the edge of that building I could measure and get a, a measurement for the length of that building and that could relate back to the plan. I could get a measurement for the fence line, an existing fence line that I could relate back to the plan but for this I actually know that this arena is a 60 by 20 metre arena and I'll just show you here if I measure the length of that arena Google knows that it's a 60 by 20 metre arena as well. So the plan is already in scale and I just need to figure out how I can work it into some kind of scale that's going to work for me. So just incidentally as well, if you don't want the address appearing on your plan, you can just go up and delete it and that'll remove the address from the plan. And the next thing we need to do is to go and save this so that we have it saved as an image. Make sure you give it a name that makes sense to you and save it in a position. I always leave things on the desktop myself and worry about where they should go later on. Okay, now we want to open Word because we're going to open that image that we've just saved in Word. But we need a nice big page. So we want to go to Page Setup and choose an A3 size sheet and put it into Landscape Format. Now this will suit my plan. It may not suit your plan. You need to think about what's best for you. Now we're just going to go up and insert file and we're going to find that image that we've just saved on the desktop and insert it. Now what will happen is it will come in either too big, too small, it'll never fit properly. So we need to fiddle around with it a little bit and one of the things we need to do is to make sure that it will not move in line with the text. So we need to toggle that off. And then we can start readjusting the size of it so that we can make sure that it covers the whole sheet because we want it as big as we can get it. That way it makes it easier to see things on it. So that require a little bit of fiddling here and there. and eventually you'll get it to fill up the entire page. At which point you are ready to save it. Now the best way to do that is to actually save it as a PDF. I'm showing you the way to do it if you have an Apple, if you've got a PC, it might be a different process, but whatever the case, save the image as a PDF. That way you can pop it onto your USB drive and take it off to the printers and get yourself a few copies printed and next time 
I'll go through how you're going to work it up into a usable scale. Thanks for watching.